Welcome to my channel. My name's Charlie and this is my husband Tom. We've just spent the last few months in the UK introducing my baby girl to my friends and family. Heartbreakingly, our visit had come to an end and it was time to fly back to Australia. So to soften the blow a little bit and to fulfill a lifelong bucket list dream, we decided we were gonna fly back business class and we thought we'd take you on the journey with us. In this video, I'm gonna show you what it's like to fly long haul with a 14 month old baby from the UK to Australia. And I'm gonna show you some of the perks and the ins and outs of what it's really like to fly business class. But first, let's jump back to the beginning of the story. This is all our luggage. I put notes on them for how much, how much they weigh, so I do, do a total, calculate them all together. Packing commences. It's like being back on tour. <laughs> like being back on tour. So we're all packed up, I've got everything in the car, we're pretty much ready to go. We just had our last like family lunch together, had a big picnic spread of lots of cheeses and pate and some like homemade cheese cons, which are my favorite. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much ready to go. I've just got to pack up my last few bits of hand luggage and then we'll be saying goodbye to the family and heading on our way to Heathrow. Really? <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, One. Oh. So we're going to do your height now, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to do it from the ground. Right. Yeah, right. exactly. You have to go on the height wall. Like yeah. yeah, ruler. I hope. I was hoping you guys would have a pencil and ruler ready. Ready. <laughs> Right, One last thing we have to do before we go around, is measure Lexi. Yeah. I'll put her on the wall. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's where you are, little one. Well, that big. That's gonna be you on. Uh, she's, right. she's well. She's kind of almost 15 months. <laughs> Lexi. Yeah, I'll be right. Up. Yeah. She doesn't know what's going on, do you, little one? No, you don't, do you? Where's that little land down under? Yeah. Upside down land. Yep, upside down land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> been upside down for three months. They've been upside down for three months. Like the See you, little one. Do you want to get back? You have yourself. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, it's all right, little one. Trouble. <laughs> um, we'll, um, drop those losses. Yeah, we'll be back That's in oh, well, Christmas. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 Can we need a one? <laughs> we'll see you at Christmas. <laughs> oh, this is this sucks. <laughs> there we go. Adios. Thing is. Waving too, Lexi. Lexi's waving too. Chasing Tom across the car park. <laughs> yes, yes, I am the person. This is exciting. So I didn't know this, but your luggage gets a priority sticker so that it comes off first on the conveyor belt at the other end. 
Since we had two trolleys of luggage plus a toddler, it was great that Uncle Henry was there to help. We got to skip the massive security queues as business has a separate security line. And then we made our way straight to the business class lounge, which is conveniently located right near the gate, but it does mean it's a bit of a trek to get there first. I am really hot and sweaty. It's a fair way to the gate. So here's a little tour of the Singapore Airlines business class lounge. had this Wimbledon themed afternoon tea selection. Alexi is having meatballs and pasta. And the question is, is she liking it? I think she is. I think she is. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Perfect. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Harry's good. And if you didn't fancy anything from the buffet, you also had the option to order something directly from an app that would be brought straight to your table. Obviously, I had to give this a try. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look at that. There were only a couple of options, but this scampi was pretty good. really matter where you're located as our main job was still trying to keep Lexi entertained. And since the lounge was pretty busy, we were trying our best not to disturb anybody. So with a little bit of help from the Wiggles, we succeeded and it wasn't long before it was time to board our flight. Now, I'm definitely gonna start off by letting you know that the seats that we had were the bassinet seats, so they were at the bulkhead, which means they're slightly bigger than the average business class seat. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. As you can see by my reaction here, this was definitely a bucket list dream coming true for us. It's just that my heart can take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone and I'm just singing. Mm, mm, mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. Mm, it could have been you. What a crime and what a shame to let go. Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you should have been you Another time, another place I just know honest that one of the perks for me was definitely that I had a little bit more privacy to breastfeed Lexi. Obviously they used to catering for babies so they were super organized and they asked us which one of us would like to eat first whilst the other looked after Lexi. So Tom decided he was going to have his dinner first. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. It should have been you.
Then Tom had his seat converted into a flatbed so that him and Lexi could settle in for the night whilst I had my dinner. As you can see, Lexi was a bit upset because she was overtired, but eventually we managed to get her to sleep. for the first chunk of time she did get a bit restless so Tom and I took it in turns to look after her so the other one could have a little bit of a rest. bit of a tip here for anyone traveling with toddlers get imaginative use anything around you as entertainment like here Lexi spent half an hour ripping this tissue in half great then she was obviously totally shattered because she fell asleep like this with her face on a book managed to have a little bit of lunch before it was time to convert our flatbeds back into our seats ready for landing into Singapore. Singapore. Sorry I've not really been vlogging at all. It's just loud everywhere or you know we're in a lounge and I don't want to disturb other people. Um, so yeah but I know that the whole a lot of this is gonna have had to have been like voiceover or montage or I don't even know what I'm gonna do but that flight was pretty awesome. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you doing a Snapchat? Yeah. Tom. Tom's just doing a snapchat. Oof, just a little look at my face. <laughs> this is uh, this is for my brother and family. I apologise for my face. No, I really don't. I look like a mask because I've been flying overnight with a toddler. Where's she going now? Look at this. Okay, so we are we made it to Singapore and we're now in the business class lounge here for Singapore Airlines. I'll take you on a little tour. It's so much bigger than the one at Heathrow. It's really cool. Starting with hello on a summer afternoon I lost myself and everybody else when I found you Told you that I loved you You weren't ready yet But I had
Tom and I are behind each other on this one because we couldn't get seats together. So as you can see, the business class seat setup is obviously different on different planes. This was a slightly smaller plane, so instead of the seat flipping down into a flatbed, it kind of just slid down flat. We crossed over borders to get where we are, and it's all for you, it's all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. <laughs> Perfect, thank you so much. Enjoy your meal, please. Thank you very much. Nights without sleeping, cause you fear the night. And day without eating cause it ain't enough for two and it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you I did it all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you particularly horrendous. We made it. We made it to Adelaide. Lexi's done. Katie there. Katie's picking us up. Tom's sister is picking us up. I think we're going to have to have two cars as well because the luggage situation is a bit out of hand. Do we need to go and stand out in the drop pickup? What time did you call her? This conversation does not need to be on camera. <laughs> I'll pick this back up again when we get home. I didn't pick this back up again when we got home. You know, it was just a bit hectic. We were dealing with jet lag and just chaos right from the get go when we got back. But that's all for another story. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I really wanted to show the actual reality of what it's like traveling with a baby, like a few ins and outs, and what it's like in, in business class. But I have to be honest, it definitely would be easier to travel well, not easier. It definitely would be nicer to do business class without having to look after a baby so you can just completely soak it up. You know, have the cocktails and just sit and watch the movies and completely relax and all that sort of stuff. But it made traveling with Lexi so much easier and it definitely took a little bit of that like basic heartbreak of having to leave my family and friends away a little bit like it just softened the blow a little bit that we weren't gonna have to sit in economy you know um but obviously we're back to economy next time because we can't afford business class <laughs> that was definitely a one-off and it was a proper treat and i very much feel like if the pandemic taught us anything it's to do if you have the option got the opportunity to do something just do it just grab it and just do it because you just never know when you know you might be stuck. <laughs>
<laughs> and can't go anywhere or do anything again. So anyway, kind of gone off topic. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry it's taken a little while to get the channel back up and going again life has been extremely hectic if you don't want to miss out on what's happening then please make sure you are subscribed hit the notification bell because that means you won't miss one of our little films and we will see you really soon